Welcome to the ET322 how-to video for the Enhancement MOSFET Amplifier Lab. Okay, first thing let's do is set a function generator. We're going to want 5 kilohertz, small k, 5, and uh, it says 200 millivolts. So let's go to... millivolts and 200 okay I'm going to leave that there and what we're going to do is we're going to start it open up our our oscilloscope and what we're going to do is we're going to adjust our there's our input signal and at 200 peaks so we're yeah we'll just leave that because we're going to maximize this so let's turn on our blue and let's turn off our yellow for right now so what we're going to do the first thing that it asks us to do is go ahead and change our uh, one meg feedback resistor until we get it undistorted and let's go the other way well that's pretty good go to let's try it go up a little bit yeah that's still a little wonky so right there that gives us a nice uh, get out of there this gives us a nice sine wave so let's figure out what our gain is And let's go ahead and measure it. Channel 1 should be from peak to peak. 400. Okay. And let's go back and go to channel 2. Peak to peak. Oops. Channel 1. Channel 2. Okay. So we got quite a bit of gain. Uh, three, 400 uh, millivolts to 3.13. We could calculate that. And next thing it wants us to do is increase the function generator input voltage until the signal increases. So let's go up to 400 and see what happens. And that's uh, starting to clip. So let's try 300. Especially considering I put in more voltage than it asked for from the beginning. I'm going to call that good. And let's go ahead and single sequence that. And let me use my snipping tool. our output so we got 600 in 4.76 and we could do the calculation on that to find our gain but that looks good okay I set this divider bias to mid point and let's go ahead and set this to 200 because it asked for 400 and Let's turn it on and see what we get. 
All right, so let's go ahead and move our slider here until it Okay, that looks pretty good, but let's go ahead and make that 1% on our see if we could really dial it in Yeah, so let's go up and see if it gets better And it is not so let's do shift a Till we get a good centered sine wave pretty good. Let's go ahead and spread it out a bit. Kind of ugly, but single. Yeah, that looks let's go back up. That's about as good as it's going to get. So let's go ahead and do a single and let's go to measure and channel one. We'll do peak to peak and we'll go to channel two, measure peak to peak. Okay, we're getting quite a bit of gain out of here 400 millivolts in and 7.6 out. So let me do a snip tool here and make sure that you guys could see it. And 400 in, 7.6 ones out. And we could have probably done a better job of uh, designing this, but that's about as good as this one's going to get. Okay, now let's try it. And we're going to put this in run. Start our simulation. All right, and we're actually getting some. So let's go ahead and move our slider until we get a signal. Okay, let's go back to 100 millivolts because this is, should be a should be a current amplifier which gives us a gain of one or close to it all right let's keep going up too much let's start going down shift a So there it is, and let's do a measurement, and this is a current amplifier. We're in phase, and we have a one-to-one -one gain or close to it. And since our resistors are different sizes, we're going to get a current increase. So let's go ahead and do a single sequence. Go to measure, and we have 400 in and 247 out. That's close to one, I'll say. Let's go ahead and get a picture. And we almost have a gain of one. 